big project, big undertaking here. We're putting in a farm a water system for our bison. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Crossroads Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Taking on a major project today. I've got the ranch rig here with the hydro bed putting it to work today, doing some construction sort of work. Speaking of hydro bed, I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. We're putting in a farm a water system for our bison. We're getting it started right here. I've got Marissa up there on the ride along trencher. Boy, that's a slow process. Woo, I started on it yesterday evening and now she's on it. We're moving up very slowly through that, but we're gonna get two feet in the ground. Legal limit here, or preferred limit in Oklahoma is only 18 inches. I know some of you are going, ooh, down here in the south, you typically don't have to go that deep. So two feet is what we're going. She doesn't know it, but she's going that way. You need to go that way. <laughs> project big undertaking here on this bison water system we don't have water in the hay meadow we've been having to uh, use my aunt and uncle's rural water uh, like we did last summer but we've got calves out here right now we're using their water and we just we don't want to have to use their water right so we're getting our own water established and we're creating our own systems so we can perform our regenerative grazing methods and movements management whatever you call it, all that in one by establishing a water system. We got a two inch poly pipe here, thick heavy duty pipe. We're gonna get a lot of water down there and maybe use it in the future at some point. So that's why we're using a two inch because you'll get plenty of water, can do whatever you want with it in the future. So we're unrolling this. I just set the first layer down. Here we go. Before I even get started here, I want you guys to understand something. There is a professional way to unravel this poly pipe. There is a commercial way to unravel this poly pipe. We don't have all that equipment. Whether it's laying fiber lines or water lines, this is tough work if you don't have all the equipment. We are doing it the ranching way. But with the hydro bed, I felt pretty confident we could get the job done. Locally, I've seen a way that they unravel this using the big spool systems on some of the heavy-duty trucks. That would be ideal. But obviously, you could tell that this 2-inch, two 2,000-foot 2, roll of poly pipe did not come on a spool, which immediately makes this very difficult. To start us off, I just used a chain and connected it from one of the hydro bed arms to the other. For the first 100 to 200 yards, it went pretty smooth, and then I finally started to run into some issues once 
it started to really unravel. Don't forget, we're dealing with 2,000 feet of poly pipe, and that's what I didn't realize of the issues that we were going to run into. Unrolling all of this poly pipe, it came to a very frustrating point where I had to stop and slow down and really think about it. But good things happen when you're patient because just a little bit later, some friends got involved. Luckily, a good friend of mine named Cole Fagan that you've seen before in quite a few of my videos brought his girlfriend out to take some photos of the bison. Well, what they didn't know before they could go out and see the bison, we needed their help big time. So thankful for Cole and his girlfriend to show up because a day's worth of time between Marissa and I unrolling this poly pipe turned into about 30 minutes with a team of four to really knock this out. It was not easy, as you can see here, but with some teamwork, one on each side of the arm to keep the poly pipe inside between the arms and Marissa driving. We slowly unraveled this thing. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. Now I'll be the first to admit, this does not look pretty after going back and watching this film, and I knew it wasn't. But with the system we had, and by using the hydro bed arms, we could adjust the height of the poly pipe where it was touching the ground or suspensed in the air, whichever one was working better at the time. But using this method of being suspended or touching the ground back and forth helped us unravel this whole thing. So one of the benefits of using the hydro bed in this situation, while Marissa was driving and us three were in the back, I could use the hydro bed remote to lift the poly pipe up and down to wherever we needed it. Instead of having Marissa do it from inside the cab, I could control it with the hydro sticks remote. I know it's hard to believe after watching that footage, but we eventually unraveled over a thousand feet of this poly pipe out. It was ugly, but we made it work. Thank gosh for Cole and his girlfriend that showed up at the right time. Unexpectedly having to work, but they showed up at the right time to help us get it done. It is so important to have a good friendship and good people, and uh, I, feel, I feel like Marissa and I have that with all of our friends. When they show up, they get to work and help us get the job done.
at least 18 inches in this area of America uh, and you know Oklahoma down here got to be at least 18 inches we're at two feet is what I did I said the heck with it we're going two feet just for extra measure I take a little break Marissa and I have been hustling Eli helped us out a little bit today but Marissa and I've been hustling on this been trenching for two days over a thousand feet and laying this two inch poly pop down got a bunch done today it has been a booger trying to unravel this thing but we've been doing it using the hydro bed it had been easy and it had been pretty but we've been getting it done and now we're really in a hustle because it's gonna rain see those dark clouds yep it's a coming and i've got to get this in the ground before i had to take a little break my uh beautiful niece emma was uh it's her prom night and so me and brooks and marissa went and ran to the park and took some family photos with her because it's her big night and um so she looked beautiful so now took the pictures now we're back at it out here um and marissa's got brooks so now i'm doing the best part her second best part i'm putting the pipe in the ground and then using the little trencher it's got a little blade on the front of it pushing it and getting it covered up I'd like to say the hard work is done. <laughs> then we still have all the water system to hook up uh, and setting the tank and doing all that part. But I would much rather be doing that than laying this polypop in the ground and trenching and digging. It's terrible. All right, let's get it done. with this thing it's headed back to the rental i'm tired of it it's going back all right guys so the whole idea of this water system 
now that we've put a lot of the groundwork into i think the most difficult part of it so here's what we're doing here's our goal got these two tires here these are what i call earth moving machinery tires they're huge tires i don't know if you can tell really how big they are but they're massive i got this idea from other bison uh owners and ranchers up in the north they love these lots of cattle people are starting to use them now as well they're thick heavy duty tires not your everyday truck or work tires let's just say that but we use these at mom and kevin's place at the lynch place where we first started um about three years ago we we set up a whole water system and then our water well went dry we got some things to take care of there but we used tires like this and they worked great um there's a couple of things about these and i know some of you got questions about these but like i said i got this idea from uh some friends and some other bison people that use one they're thick this one's painted because uh it was used actually actually as a decoration in the town of davis but um I'm, i got these for free but typically black rubber heats up so in the winter um it doesn't they won't freeze now we've had some really cold winters here and we've had a I think they froze maybe two or three times, but that's extreme cold for us. Um, so we're talking like around zero uh, degrees, somewhere in there. That region. They're tough. That's the other thing is the bison can rub on them. They can hit them. They're not going to move them. Uh, they, pro they can move them right now, but when you put them in concrete and set them in place, they're not going to move. Uh, so those are the two things that we really look at. One, the heat from the sun in the wintertime, keeping them um, thawed out. And then two, they're super tough. The bison aren't going to move them. They really rub on them and stuff. And the other thing is they're going to last forever. Some of you, are, I know, have had questions about uh, leaching bad chemicals and stuff. And I'll say this. I've reached out to, because we're about to install these, and I reached out to some bison people that have been in the business for a long time and actually ranch and manage very popular populations of bison. But I've reached out to some guys that have been doing this a long time and they suggest these and they've never said anything about leaching chemicals. I know that's a question and some of you may disagree and that's fine, but for bison people and even cattle people, these are the best. And you can go out and look at lots of big ranches and lots of small ranches that do this and it's bison tough cattle tough and uh, it works really well so this will be our new automatic water system by using these tires so a lot of people may suggest uh fiberglass and stuff well fiberglass are great um you can buy the ones that are big tanks and we've we've thought about buying those but <clears throat> a couple of bad things about the tank ones is they like to get into them here you can kind of cut the top of this tire in a way where you can keep them out. You can also put pipe across it to only give them so much space to drink out of instead of getting in. But they're the world's worst about getting in them. Dunbar is the first one in them typically, uh, but you've got to find ways to cross it up so that you can keep them physically out of it and keep it clean. And so they just have good, clean drinking water. That's the most important part. Instead of drinking out of our ponds, which that's what's here at the Ponderosa, they can get fresh rural water, which is the line that we just ran and uh, set out. So that's the next big thing is that's the second half of this water video is that right there. So yeah, we got a, we got a lot of work to do. Well, we got some left, but this will be the end result. And we're going to split it on our new fence here because we've got water over here with my uh, aunt and uncles. Um, but the other half of the pasture, once we do our rotational stuff, you can split this on a fence and now you have water for this pasture and water for this pasture. So that's what those are gonna be used for. All right, we're gonna head back up to the barn. Well, we got a long way to go as you can tell, but uh, what a project. And once you dive into it, you gotta keep on rolling. And um, the main thing is the highlight of this whole thing. There's a lot of groundwork and there's a lot of time, investment and money that goes into this project, but it's going to all be worth it. We can properly rotate the way we're doing our regenerative grazing with our bison with those water systems. And they're going to get fresh water, which is even better for our bison. Still got a long road ahead, but the whole project is definitely 
overwhelming when you're rolling out a 2,000 foot roll of a two inch poly pipe. I'm gonna be honest, without the hydro bed taking on this project, we couldn't have got it done. I mean, when you handle that much, that big a spool, and, and like I said, we didn't, we didn't do it the commercial and professional way. We did it the old ranching way is what we did. Um, and if you don't know, guys, Hydra Bed actually does, makes commercial flatbeds. I obviously don't show that side of Hydra Bed. Uh, you may want to check out if you're interested. They don't just do this. They do lots of other stuff too. So shout out to Hydra Bed and thank them for uh, sponsor today's video, guys, and uh, supporting us. Uh, supporting our family the projects that we do the stuff that i get in uh, <laughs> that i get ourselves into uh this thing got us a long ways was it clean was it pretty absolutely not but we got the job done go to www.hydrabeds.com check out your local dealers across america you can do it right there on the website look for a locator and you can find a hydra beds dealer maybe near you and uh, or you can give them a phone call tell them i sent you guys uh, Hydra beds made a huge difference on my family. Uh, the, the way we ranch and the way we take care of our bison's made a huge difference. And as you can see, the versatility and all the work that you can do on this. We still got a long ways to go, but this got us a lot closer. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.